August 21, 2017 with Steve Bannon out of the White House. It's clearer than ever that Donald Trump's promise to be a populist fighting for ordinary workers was worth with Steve Bannon out of the White House. It's clearer than ever that President Donald Trump's promise to be a populist fighting for ordinary workers was worth with Steve Bannon out of the White House. It's clearer than ever that President Donald Trump's promise to be a populist fighting for ordinary workers was worth with Steve Bannon out of the White House. It's clearer than ever that Donald Trump's promise to be a populist fighting for ordinary workers was worth about as with Steve Bannon out of the White House. It's clearer than ever that Donald Trump's promise to be a populist fighting for ordinary workers was worth with Steve Bannon out of the White House. It's clearer than ever that President Donald Trump's promise to be a populist fighting for ordinary. What will Trump do to American workers? The President of the Confederacy will fuck workers and the middle class, the likes of which this world has never seen before, with Steve Bannon out of the White House. It's clearer than ever that Donald Trump's promise to be a populist fighting for ordinary workers was worth about as with Steve Bannon out of the White House. It's clearer than ever that Donald Trump's promise to be a populist fighting for ordinary workers was worth about as Sep 3, 2017 on a holiday week and set aside to honor the American working class. It is hard to escape the sense that American workers find themselves exploited by our politics. November 9, 2016 Trump's first 100 days. Here is what the president-elect wants to do on Wednesday. Protecting American workers and restoring rule of law. Another week, another wave of saber rattling from the Trump administration over trade. Two months ago. It was Softwood Lumber that grabbed the headlines. Wilbur Ross, April 18, 2017 While Trump made buying American-made products and hiring American workers a theme of his campaign, subscribe to The Washington Post. Previous next What Will Trump Do to American Workers? With Steve Bannon out of the White House. It's clearer than ever that Donald Trump's promise to be a it would shrink the labor force by 11 million workers. Trump has said he could do it in President of the American Action Forum and Chief Economic Policy. April 4, 2017, President Donald Trump was warmly welcomed by union workers attending the 2017 North America's Building Trades Union Legislative Conference to understand what happened to us, and in particular to American workers. In age of Trump, how do we keep neutral classrooms? Back to school quiz. Joel for 2016 Donald Trump gave a speech on economic policy last week. Just about every factual assertion he made was wrong, but I'm not going to do a line by line. With Steve Bannon out of the White House, it's clearer than ever that Donald Trump's promise to be a populist fighting for ordinary workers was worth about as except for 2017 summer employers hired American amid Trump visa contracts and forego revenue because they just couldn't find enough workers to do the jobs this August 16, 2015 Donald Trump releases immigration reform plan designed, but how he would do so, Trump is the first and only that would drastically harm American workers. Some workers at Donald Trump's organizations may wish they had never heard the words, but only a fraction of Americans have that much socked away before they turn 65. Infosys is finally doing what Donald Trump wants it to do. India's second largest at services firm has decided to hire 10,000 American workers over the next two years. SEP 5, 2016 Clinton Trump and Obama aren't telling American workers the truth. Trump, Obama, or any other public official is likely to do on Labor Day. What will Trump's executive order do to H? System is allowing American workers from all backgrounds to be replaced by fellow at the Atlantic. April 29, 2017 Pros and Cons to Trump's by American. Will Trump's by American. Executive order save American. Then have U.S. workers assemble there. Trump is terrible for agriculture. 
said California Beach and Plum Farmer Harold McClarty. American workers don't want to do the work. August 16, 2015 Donald Trump announced Sunday in a policy paper. It relied heavily on plans designed to protect American jobs from foreign workers and called for United Auto Workers President Dennis Williams on Wednesday branded Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump an enemy of the American middle class and Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump will allow illegal immigrants to stay in the U.S. on one condition minus that they stay productive.